we are extremely pleased that you're here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating, yes? yes? Taking thought beyond what it has been. You know why you're here? Come for some clarity, some fun. That's what Esther says as she makes her list. Fun and clarity and more. Fun and clarity and more. Fun brings the clarity and clarity brings the more, yeah? Can you feel the leading edge that you're focused upon? It's like everything that you've been living has brought you a perspective, not just an opinion. That is a perspective and everybody's got that, but a point of attraction perspective is what we're talking about where you've lived life and you've observed it and then you've talked about it you've sort of calibrated to it you've isolated it by focusing on it and in many cases defended it and so you stand with a point of view but not just one that you see with your eyes or understand with your mind you have a vibrational point of view which you may not be completely aware of and that's really the point of everything that we talk about you've been living and responding that's mostly how you got your point of view a sort of knee-jerk reaction is what most people's point of view is about and so sometimes when you're noticing things that you don't like that you sort of don't like or really don't like you most humans develop a stance of pushing hard against that not realizing that when you do that it accentuates that point of view and makes that point of view more of what comes to you so your opinions or your point of view feel so valid to you and they are because your life keeps proving your focused point if you think that if you believe that the law of attraction keeps bringing you things like it not because it's what you want but because it's what you've been focused upon and it's what you're offering vibrationally an easier way to hear it is because you believe it an even stronger way to hear it is because you expect it Jerry used to say especially in the beginning he argued with us quite a bit about why would someone behave that way and we would say well that's not really your work well it felt like it was his work because it was in his atmosphere sometimes in his face and the point he argued the most often was I didn't really expect that person to behave that way until I observed their behavior and then I expected it and so his point he didn't get far with it because we're stubborn his point was it showed itself to me before I believed it and while that very often may be exactly what happened to you you're born into a family they had beliefs they behaved in a certain way they behaved toward you in a certain way and you developed a point of attraction about how you fit into that family or into that city or into the world in other words we get why you do it we just want you to remember that there is another way that you can be in this world you can observe it and choose from what you're observing and focus deliberately upon the parts that you are observing that you want to perpetuate in your experience and in the world at large you don't have to just be a regurgitator you are a creator you came to observe yes and to decide personally that matters your point of view matters you get to choose and once you have chosen to focus in the direction of what you are choosing rather than in its opposite why would anyone choose to focus in opposition to what they really are choosing well it's just a habit it's a habit for this reason you were born with these magnificent senses or abilities to perceive you see and hear and smell and taste and touch 
And what you don't realize maybe is that in what you see, you are translating vibration into what you see, what you hear, you're translating vibration into what you hear. Your senses are helping you to translate meaningfully to yourself. Well, that's compelling, isn't it? That reality, that's compelling. We get why you want to focus upon it. Much of it is delicious and all of it matters because how are you going to know what you do want unless you're able to taste a little bit or maybe a lot about what you don't want? How would anyone decide what they prefer if it were not for the variety that helps you in that relative way, that relativity way, that comparison way? How would you know what you choose? And it matters what you choose because you are the creator of your own point of attraction. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.